As Miley Cyrus once sang, nothing breaks like a heart. And she's got the exes to prove it. And what did her very first boyfriend have to say about their childhood romance? Stick around to find out. Who doesn't love a good Disney love triangle? Miley Cyrus caused quite the stir when she left Dylan Sprouse for Nick Jonas. A young Sprouse spoke about the ordeal on Jimmy Kimmel Live, saying, We met at her set, I believe. Uh huh. And uh, we dated. <laughs> and, uh, and then Nick Jonas walked by, and then it was over. Jonas and Cyrus subsequently went on to date for nearly two years, from 2006 to 2008. Cyrus told Seventeen Magazine, Nick and I loved each other. For two years, he was basically my 24-7. But all things must come to end, and the couple eventually called it quits. So what caused the breakup that led to her infamous Seven Things hit written about the Jonas brother? Well, another Disney love triangle, obviously. The same year that he and Cyrus broke up, Jonas started dating Selena Gomez. In fact, some fans continue to believe that the Seven Things lyric, You love me, you liked her, was a dig at her ex-boyfriend's new relationship. During an appearance on BBC Radio 1, Jonas spoke about how he felt about having the Cyrus song written about him. He said, I was actually kind of flattered, to be honest. It's there forever. Yeah. And I know it's about me. Yeah. The singer went on to write Love Bug, which the band confirmed was about his romance with Cyrus. The banger singer dated actor and singer Justin Gaston, who was five years her senior, from 2008 to 2009, when she was just 16 years old. According to Access, the two met when Gaston was a contestant on Nashville Star, a singing competition for aspiring country music stars that Billy Ray Cyrus co-hosted. Their romance lasted for nine months and fizzled, right around when Cyrus left to film The Last Song with Liam Hemsworth, whom she would later wed, and divorce. However, it wasn't the rigorous filming schedule that fueled the split. According to E! News, the pop star had been getting friendly with ex-boyfriend Nick Jonas again. Gaston didn't take too kindly to that, with an insider revealing, she didn't cheat, but I guess Nick was trying to get her back the whole time. Cyrus and Gaston's breakup led to some pretty angsty tweets in the moment. E! News obtained the posts in which Gaston quoted a famous heartbreak tune, writing, Do I have to fall asleep with roses in my hands? Cyrus chimed in, tweeting, Life will go on. You will smile again. We will smile again. And smile she did, as she quickly found Hemsworth to dry her tears. Who can forget Liam Hemsworth and Miley Cyrus? The pair met on the set of The Last Song, where they played the roles of Ronnie and Will, respectively, and their love seemed to burn just as bright off-screen. Cyrus told Parade in 2010, Liam has become my best friend in the whole wide world. I love him. The pair dated for nearly a decade on and off before officially tying the knot in December of 2018. Hemsworth and his then-wife kept their nuptials under wraps, surprising the world in a low-key ceremony at their home in Nashville. The two had an intense romance, moving into a Californian home together, which inspired the Nashville native to write Malibu. And when they lost their home to the 2018 California wildfires, the pop star suggested that their bond only grew stronger and they wanted to cement it. She wrote for Vanity Fair in 2019, I'm not sure without losing Malibu we would have been ready to take this step or ever even gotten married. Who can say? But by August of 2019, after just a few months of marriage, Hemsworth had filed for divorce, citing irreconcilable differences. The Australian actor announced the split on Instagram with a photo of a sunset, writing, Miley and I have recently separated, and I wish her nothing but health and happiness going forward. He added that he'd be making no other statements about the matter to the press. Meanwhile, Cyrus wrote a Twitter thread denying rumors that she'd cheated on her hubby. On her 18th birthday, Miley Cyrus shed her Disney darling reputation for a more daring attitude when she was caught making out with Nickelodeon actor Avin Jogia. The Daily Mail published steamy snaps of the Hannah Montana star leaning against a bar table while Jogia kissed her neck. So it's safe to say that Cyrus celebrated her coming of age in a pretty memorable way. At the time, Cyrus was fresh on a break from Liam Hemsworth, who was working in Australia. Jogia had only good things to say about the pop star, telling Tiger Beat, She's super cool, like a sweet, down-to-earth, she's a nice girl. However, it would appear that the rumored romance between the two fizzled out about as quickly as it began, since Hemsworth returned and he didn't stand a chance. Just a few months later, Cyrus and her future husband were officially back together, 
appearing at multiple red carpet events and even posing for a very cozy Teen Vogue photoshoot together. During her splits from Liam Hemsworth in 2014, the singer got close to Patrick Schwarzenegger for around five months, even going on a romantic getaway together to Hawaii. It was a long time coming for the son of Arnold Schwarzenegger. In 2011, he'd confessed his crush on the star to details via Us Weekly, saying, My eye is set on Miley. The pair seemed to get serious fast, with Cyrus even vacationing to Idaho with his family for a ski trip. Things came to a head when Patrick was seen out and about in Cabo getting cozy with a woman who wasn't his girlfriend. Although photos of him doing body shots off a mysterious person tell a different story, he claimed he was innocent of any wrongdoing. He tweeted, OMG, it's one of my best friend's girlfriend. Although the couple seemed to weather that storm, their romance didn't last much longer. The couple called it quits a few weeks after all the Cabo drama, with a source telling people they're just in two different places in their lives. He's in college, and she's focused on her music and career. The pop star brushed off her Schwarzenegger breakup blues just fine, as she and model Stella Maxwell were seen in adorable Instagram snaps together following the split. Cyrus had come out as pansexual at the time, telling Paper Magazine, I am literally open to every single thing that is consenting and doesn't involve an animal and everyone is of age. Everything that's legal, I'm down with." Maxwell joked with V Magazine that the two met on Grindr, that the pair actually had mutual friends through Cyrus's pal and personal assistant, Shane Thomas. She revealed, "...it's been a trip to hang out and see a little of their world. Felt very organic and right." The Victoria's Secret angel played coy when asked if she had a significant other, saying, "...define significant." As for how their romance played out, it may have been nothing more than a fling. That same year, Cyrus told Elle that she was just having fun, saying, I'm very open about it. I'm pansexual. But I'm not in a relationship. I'm 22, I'm going on dates, but I change my style every two weeks, let alone who I'm with. Miley Cyrus fans had a field day when they got news of her European vacation with Brody Jenner's ex-wife, Caitlin Carter. The two had just separated from their respective husbands in 2019 when they decided to pack on the PDA in designer swimwear while touring around Italy. Merely hours after the steamy paparazzi photos were released, a rep had confirmed to ET that Cyrus had split from then-husband Liam Hemsworth with a statement that read, "...ever evolving, changing as partners and individuals, they have decided this is what's best while they both focus on themselves and careers." What better way to evolve than traveling around Europe with a smoking hot new girlfriend? The two got hot and heavy fast, but the pair only lasted two months before ultimately calling it quits in August 2019. The relationship was Carter's first experience with a woman, and clearly, it was special to her. She wrote for Elle, I went on vacation with a female friend. The next thing I knew, I was in love with her. Although the relationship with my friend was often referenced in the media as merely a summer fling or a same-sex affair, it was so much more than that. This was a profound journey of self-discovery. Cyrus also made bold revelations on the Call Her Daddy podcast, where she shared, I've been in love three times. One person who is a girl that I still think about and like dream about all the wow. time. But you Cody Simpson and Miley Cyrus began dating in October 2019. According to Billboard, the two even spent COVID quarantine together, with Simpson taking care of his girlfriend when she had vocal cord surgery. They seemed as happy as ever, posting countless lovey-dovey Instagram pics. Cyrus was even the muse for Simpson's ballad, Golden Thing, which featured lyrics like, "'Diamond throne, all on her own, coffee skin, she let me in.'" According to People, Simpson told reporters at an event, we just have a ball, yeah? And that's the most important part of a relationship, you know? In August 2020, the musical pair ultimately decided that they were going in two different directions in life, with Simpson pursuing a professional swimming career and Cyrus focused on her music and touring. On an episode of The Kyle and Jackie O Show, the Australian musician explained, It was kind of a mutual decision between us, knowing that we were sort of going in different directions in our life. The swimmer went on to qualify for the Australian Olympic trials, but finished last at the finals, vowing to return again in three years. Meanwhile, Cyrus finished up her seventh studio album, Plastic Hearts. As of September 2022, the Malibu singer was linked to Lily drummer Max Mirando, sharing a cute snap on her Instagram alongside him at the Gucci Love Parade fashion show. Now, while all of these relationships tell the story of Cyrus as an adult, 
what about her very first boyfriend? For that, we have to go back decades to her childhood sweetheart. Miley Cyrus was already stealing hearts at the tender age of eight. While most kids that age were catching cooties on the playground, she was filming the TV series Doc alongside actor Tyler Posey. The early 2000s show followed Billy Ray Cyrus as a small-town doctor who starts practicing in New York City. Miley made a guest appearance in a couple of episodes as a character called Kylie, while Posey played the role of Raul Garcia, a boy later adopted by the doctor's friend. Billy Ray had moved his family from Tennessee to Canada to film the show, which ran for four years. On a 2016 episode of Larry King Now!, the Teen Wolf star explained that Miley became his girlfriend when he was nine years old and didn't have many pals. He added, She and I became really close friends and, you kissed uh, her. and yeah, just once. As for who made the first move, Posey told BuzzFeed Celeb that the eight year old, who was his first ever girlfriend, was anything but shy. He revealed, She was trying to make me do a kissy face, and then she kissed me. She planted a big one right on my mouth, and I loved it. It was very awkward and very young and cute and sweet and wholesome.